Greetings. My name is Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install bottles on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to install bottles, which is a program that allows you to run Windows executables in .msi uh, programs on, on Linux. So we're going to install bottles via the, 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 um, the recommended um, method, which is um, a flat pack. Now, it, it's already in the pop shop here, so if you want to install it with just a, a click, a simple click of install, it'll install the most current version for you, which is 51. Point one three, but that's too easy. Just to click on install and have it install it for you like that. It's too easy. So I'm going to use the command line, and I'm going to use the flat pack command line engine to install it because it, it gets it, it allows you to get your hands and mind dirty with using the command line to install things, and it's more the more Linux way of doing things than rather than just click on an install button. So I'm going to use the command line to install bottles. Now, we don't already have it installed, so I just want to prove I don't already have it installed. So we'll look at some of these folders here, and we don't already have it installed, and when we're done, we can spot it in the B section up here, and bottles will show up in here. You can launch it that way, and also from the command line. And so here's my fast fetch screen here to actually prove I'm in a pop session pop 22.04 okay we're going to install bottles on here okay good we can clear on that okay so we're all set up here now in order to use Flatpak to install bottles on pop you're going to have to have Flatpak already installed Flatpak is already installed by default on pop and if it's not then you need to look at the uh, the flat hub the Flatpak uh, documentation on their website and how to set it up if it's not already there or if your distro doesn't already have it then you need to go and find your distro specific instructions on how to set up Flatpak and Flathub on your distro but for right now Flatpak has already been installed and we can go ahead and use it right now um, I could always make a video later on how to install Flat uh, Flatpak and, and, and add the, the Flathub remote on a distro, pop in this case, if it doesn't already have it on there. But for right now, it's already on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use flat, use flat pack, which has already been pre installed. Okay, so let me just prove that I, flat pack is installed here. 1.14. Now I looked at their documentation, or at least their, 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 uh, Git, their GitHub repo, and it's up to 115, something like that. So this is not the most current version. Um, and I don't want to really, uh, uh, you know, install the newer version because I looked into it. I tried to compile it. It didn't work. So I just have to, since we're on pop, it's probably best to wait until they push out a new version. Uh, I really couldn't figure out any other way to, to upgrade it from, from this version that we're in right now other than compiling it. And that just didn't work for me. I, I uh, installed the dep dependencies and I did the make and all that and it's just it's, it faltered along the way during the comp compilation error uh, process I was thinking maybe my, my GCC, GCC compiler might have been out of date anyway the, the compilation didn't work so I couldn't go to a newer version so I'm stuck with 1.14 for now but that should work that's the most current version that's in the pop repos I do believe so we're gonna go with that for right now okay so there's a couple of um, Flatpak commands I want to show before we get in. First of all, you can get your a lot of um, Flatpak command options here by doing an H. You can get a bunch of um, options here to get information. I've written down a couple that I want to show. So I'm going to go ahead and show those real quick here. We did the version. First, I'm going to list out the installed Flatpak apps and the runtimes. So once we're done with bottles, if you want to come back and check flat lit, flat pack list again, there should be an in, um, an entry for bottles here. In the, the runtimes here, runtimes are a little tricky. I I have a hard time trying to really figure out what the runtimes are all about. But here's your runtimes here, and here's some of your flat pack installed 
some of your flat pack, uh, your installed flat pack packages up here. A few up at the top here. Mega sink floor, pretty much. Okay, so that's um, that's list. Another one that I want to show is this is the important one really. Is remotes. Okay, you're going to have to have not only flat pack the command line engine, but you're going to if it's not already uh, enabled or installed, you're going to have to um, add the FlatHub uh, re remote repo, so Flatpak can pull from FlatHub. Okay, so once you have Flatpak and the FlatHub re remote repo installed, we can go ahead and pull in bottles and install it and run it. Okay, so that's pretty much that. List and remotes. Okay. Now we can go ahead and use Flatpak to just go ahead and download and install bottles. And back with that first step, or actually, I can keep the I can keep the video running and just kind of I can just type uh, type in the command here real quick. Flatpak install, and we're going to use flat. It's going to pull in FlatHub, and here's the um here's the name of the program here. It's use, or I mean, com dot use bottles dot bottles. Okay, I know it's a little um you know, uh, unusual to see com in, in front of the, um, I mean, for for the file, pro, for the program in, to be in this format, this is how Flatpak works, though. So here's the full installation command here. Flatpak, install, and it's going to pull in from FlatHub, and this is the bottles program name here, com.usebottles.bottles. Okay, so this is a manual install. So, this is the first step in the manual install here, and then we're going to run it once we install it. Okay, so once you have that keyed in, give it the once over. Okay, that looks good. That looks good to me. And then we're going to go ahead and enter on that. And it says it found bottles. Okay, it says um, let, let's read it together here real quick here. Looking for matches. Required runtime for for bottles was found in that remote of FlatHub. Do I want to install it? Yes, of course. Okay, so. It found it, and it prompted me to install it. And since Y is capitalized, and that's the default, I don't have to key in Y or N. I can just enter on that, and it gives me another screen. These are the default permissions here. We're going to go with the default permissions at this point. I'm not going to install. I'm not going to use at this point. I'm not going to use a flat seal to add or remove any permissions. I'm going to go with the defaults here. So go with the defaults here. And here's some more information as far as run times and the bottles program here. Everything looks good here, okay? Same thing here. Do I want to proceed with these changes to the system? Yes. Again, Y is capitalized, so Y is the, the default selection there. So enter on that. And it uh, looks like there's 11, 11 steps here that we have to wait for it to download and install. So I'll come back when it's done. But it's going good to this point here. Okay, so that took a few minutes, but everything installed, everything um, downloaded and installed properly. Installation complete. Okay, no errors. Okay, so bottles at this point has been installed. You see all the green check marks there. Everything looks good here. Installation complete. Okay, good. No errors, no nothing. Okay, so bottles has been installed. So we'll clear on that. And we're going to reuse this same command here except we're going to change a couple of things. We're going to use the name of the um, the program here, Bottles. We're going to get rid of FlatHub because we've already pulled it in. We don't need that. And we've already installed it, so we don't need install either. So we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, remove those two, and we're just going to um, insert Run. Okay? So now we're going to run it. So Flatpak Run com.usebottles.bottles. .bottles. Okay, this should launch Bottles in the terminal here. Okay, let's see what happens on that. Enter on that. Let's see if it um, launches properly. Okay, there it goes. Pretty good. Okay. There's like this welcome wizard here. We can run through the the tour really quick here. Just gives you some information. What do we have here? Welcome the bottles. 
Bottles uses compatibility runners to provide isolated containerized Windows like environments where programs can run. Okay, that's fine. Just some information here. And then we're done. Continue and we're done. Okay, good. Okay, so let it initialize here. It says it needs a few more minutes to set everything up. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll be back when it's done. But it's initializing here. Okay, that took a few moments. Okay, we're all initialized and Bottles is ready to go. All ready. Okay, good. Start using Bottles. Okay, we're going to click on that. Now, the way I launched it here in the command line, this backend process has to always be running for the front end to run. So if you kill the process in the back end, this program in the front end will freeze or, or um, you know, it'll stop. It'll, it'll kill itself and it'll, it'll go away. Same thing, uh, vice versa. If you if you X bottles out, then you'll free up the um, the process in the terminal. It'll kill this. So these have to be in tandem here, which could be a little bit um, could clutter up your workflow a little bit. You have to keep this dedicated window in in tandem with the front end. So this is kind of like Plan B for me, and we'll check the the application folder in a second, and that should be Plan A on how to launch it. But let's just see. Okay, so we can minimize that, but you can always come here for like launch or usage issues and just other information here that you could use to get information and also um, for debugging any uh, launch or use, usage issues here. Otherwise, we can go ahead and minimize on that. Go back to bottles. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of actually creating a bottle to run a Windows executable. I'm just going to go ahead and check the version here. It should be 51.13. Okay, good. The most current version of bottles, and and we installed it um, by the recommended uh, installation method by the bottles community. So we're good here. We're all good here with bottles here in the command line. Okay, so bottles have been installed. X that out. Go ahead and go back to the terminal. See, once I kill the front end, it, it freed up the process in the back end here. So we're good there. We can clear on that. That's kind of plan B for me. Plan A is to go to the GUI here. Now it's not going to be here. I wouldn't expect to find it in this folder or in this one here. No bottles. It's not going to be here, I don't think. I'm, I'm expecting it would be in this one here. Okay, here it is. Here's bottles here. Okay, good. You could right click, pin the dash, or just left click and launch it this way. Uh, let's go ahead and pin it to dash. Okay, we can go ahead and close that, and here it is here. And then same thing, you right click on it, get some information, you can remove it. Otherwise, your standard left single left click should open it that way. And okay, so it didn't go through the same initialization process. Okay, so that's good. Go ahead and check the version one more time. Everything is active and nothing's frozen. Everything's responding. Okay, looks good about bottles 51.13 okay good that's the most current version and that's the recommended way of installing bottles okay so another video I can go ahead I have another one where I, I use bottles to um, install Adobe uh, whatever it was. I forgot what it was PDF reader or something like that so I've used it once and made a video but I haven't used it extensively but for this video I just want to show you how to install it and launch it and then in other videos I can go ahead and use it to install other Windows programs. But for now, I like where we're at here. Bottles has been installed. And it, you know, it's really one of the better, it's definitely on my radar as far as um, ways of installing Windows programs on Linux. In, in addition to um, Wine in the command wine in the command line, you know, System Wine, Steam Proton, Lutris, Heroic, Bottles is definitely up that bottles is definitely mentioned in the same breath. Play on Linux is a little bit, I think it seems to be abandoned, so I'm, I'm not really quite sure if that should even be used. And then there's a program called Crossover, which is premium, which I, I would assume is good. I don't usually mention it, as, I don't usually recommend it because it's premium, but it's definitely in the, um, it should be definitely mentioned. You know, it should be in the, in the discussion for compatibility programs to run Windows programs in Linux. But for right now, we did Bottles, which is pretty good. So, Bottles has been installed. So, Bottles um, 
51.13 has been installed and launched on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. And I'll leave you with um, leave you with the fast fetch screen here. Okay, yeah. Pop 22.04. Okay, so that was how to install and launch bottles via Flatpak. Uh, bottles 51.13 on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. At this point, I would like to ask you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the video, and to join my POP group on Facebook. The link is in the, the link will be in the description for the video. And we talk about POP and other distros, and other tech news, and personalities. So please join. And until my next, yeah, okay. I just want to remind you that I am Paul, and I am the uh, lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs. And I am also the administrator of the Pop! OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. And until my next video, happy Linuxing. Thank you.